How's it guys? Chris here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to keep your mud prawns alive for more than 24 hours. I know there was a debate, uh, the guys use grass, the guys use moist uh, newspaper, uh, put them in the sand, keep them in the water. So today I'm going to show you my way of keeping mud prawns alive for 24 hours for a use for the next day's fishing. I'll see you at the water. Alright guys, I just stopped at the location where we're going to pull some mud prawns. Just make sure that uh, before you start, have your license with you. I think it's 50 mud prawns per person per day. Yeah, let's, uh, let's start pumping. We are here at the Pelican Island area in Riches Bay. Uh, this is where we normally pull our mud prawns. Nice shallow area, also a nice place to catch some grunters, some flatties, some skate. Yeah. You can see uh, across the, the mouth there, some people having some fun in the water, fishing, having a nice day out. I use a, a bread bin, as some of you know it. I just find it more sufficient. Uh, I don't have to take off a lid the whole time. I can just open it, grab my prawns and close it. The main thing is uh, to keep the water and the sand cool as long as possible. If you can do that, your prawns will stay fresh and alive for much longer uh, for the use. And then obviously you're gonna have to use a uh, prawn pump to pump them out of the sand okay so that's the the basics from my side so let's just go and pull some prawns Guys, that's my 50 for today. 
you can check some of them on top some of them are in the sand already making their new home yeah so let's head home and see the method i'm using Guys, we are back from the Pelican Island area where we went and pumped some crackers or mud prawns. Uh, the next step is how I preserve and keep my mud prawns alive until the next day or even 36 hours. I've got a normal fridge in front of me. Simple way is open it. Place your crackers inside or your mud prawns. Close the door until tomorrow. Hi guys, it's the next day. Uh, I think it's more than a little bit of slightly over 24 hours now. Let's see how our little critters did. Okay guys, let's see how our uh, mud prawns did. If you can see some of them, they are uh, not moving. But if we touch them, they come to life. So guys, more than 24 hours now. And yeah, this is my way of keeping the mud prawns alive. You guys next up i'm going to show you guys how i do a uh, trace for the edible fish from the banks uh, targeting grunter stump nose platies i will start off by using a maxima 35 pound 17 kg maxima then i will swap depending on what size fish you're targeting uh, the demon circle look anything from a 2-0 right up to a 4-0 then also <coughs> from landed, I normally use a 2.0 J hook and then a size 5 power swivel, a small ball sinker, some latex cotton and we will be needing live prawns. Okay, to start off with, I will tie the swivel to the trace by using a figure of 8 knot. Some lubrication, pull it down. Tight. The tag again. Okay, as mentioned, I normally make my traces 60 to 70 centimeters. For this demonstration, I'm going to use a slightly bigger hook. I'm going to use a 4 0. Once again, using a figure of 8 knot. Push it down, put it tight. Trim the tag end. <clears throat> okay, right, so we've got our trace. Next thing is I'm gonna show you guys how to bait up with mud prawns. Some guys will look at them tail, some will uh, rig it like a worm, some believe to just look at twice through the tail, once through the head. What I'll do is, <coughs> I'll hold my my hook and my trace like this. What I'll do is, I will take and pinch 
the tile of the mud prone. I normally use like two to three. Holding them by the tails in line with the hook. Okay, and then I'll use the cotton. Cottoning only the tail ends and a, a brief part of the body of the mud prong. Okay, then I'll just slightly push it down. So if you can see, the hook is always proud and there's always movement. So when the bait goes on to the bottom of the, the, the ocean, when it lays on the bank, there's always movement and the fish will pick it up much, much quicker. Yeah guys, that's my way of uh, hooking up or baiting up mud prawns. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and yeah, watch out for my next video. Have a nice day and tight lines. Thank you guys. He said, don't fall, don't forget all the things you've been taught, you've been told. Don't blink, don't run, don't turn left or turn right or look straight at the sun. My mind's gone in circles, I'm trying to fight it Get in these voices inside to stay quiet Go to the place where all this began Just start again, oh you